What's going on guys? It's your boy Aaron from Secret Intelligence Surgeon. Today we're going to be uh, showing you guys kind of a fix to a pretty known issue that's been occurring with a lot of stressors. Um, stress sensory services similar to, you know, ones we run. Um, there's random sites just, just you guys own, maybe may own that this happens to. Now this only happens most of the time. It only happens when you're running uh, straight Apache f from your, you know, your... Uh, server now when you're using uh nginx i'm not too sure if the same thing happens i'm, I'm fairly certain it will happen because it's, i don't know if nginx actually blocks the blocks that itself anyways um so what's been happening is so let's say your site's hosted behind cloudflare okay that's assumably because you want to hide your host ip address for many reasons one being ddos attacks a lot of hosts don't provide DDoS, DDoS protection um now there's a um, there's like a, a way people can actually uh, grab your backend IP address um, through Cloudflare. This isn't actually using Cloudflare. Basically, what happens is when your site's been on the web long enough, you know, people can access it through your link and whatnot. You haven't messed around with the server tables or, you know, the same if you're using cPanel. I don't think cPanel lets you do that, but, you know, cPanel has this. This happens all the time with cPanel. It's very obvious. This is why cPanel, shit, okay, don't use cPanel. But anyways... Um, like if you're using like a hosting provider that only provides cPanel, buy a server and set up yourself. It's a lot better. You can do a lot more with it. Okay, I'm not going to get into that though. Um, so people can actually go on a websites like Shodan uh, and other web scanners or do it themselves. They can actually search through Google's entire website in, uh, index for searches related to the domain. So it will search for the domain name and it will search the domain title like the title of the website that shows up on google's index this is if your website's indexed it still can happen if your website's not in indexed and people can actually access your website through the ip address now people can search google and eventually google will actually list a website on there but the website will be your website but it won't be like your domain.com it would be the server ip address of the euro because it would think Connecting to the server IP address is what you want it to do. You want it to like index that site on Google because you want people to visit it through that when you don't. So to actually block Google from indexing your IP address, it will still index your site through the domain name, through Cloudflare, but it won't actually index uh, the website. You can't access the website through the URL, through the like IP address. So you can't actually, it won't get indexed on Google basically. Now, this only works with Cloudflare, only if you're using Cloudflare. Now what you need to do is, what the fuck is that? Oh, that's the same people are on the stream. Go check out my, my channel, by the way, guys. It's at that dev Aaron. Okay, you got that, guys. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, what you want to do is install Java, okay? You want to do uh, apt get install and then default JDK. Actually, no, J default JRE. But if you want to install the development kit, you can. It comes with uh, d d the development kit and the runtime environment. So anyways, just type JDK or JRE in whichever one you want, whichever one sounds better to you, okay? JRE is what I recommend for you guys. If you're running CentOS, you can do yum install Java. So we're going to type and then it will install Java. Now once you've done that, you want to head over to bins.tsis.uk. Um, right now there's a bunch of random shit on here. You know, I just use this for private storage and we also use this for... Um, you guys to like download some of our shit instead of us putting it on like archives like mega and shit so anyways um you guys can head over here there will be a file called cloudflare click on that and then the jar file should be in there just click on it and it will download to a computer okay now what we're going to do is we're going to run it we're going to type in java dash jar then we're going to type in cloud and then press tab and it should pop up with a thing press enter and then it will run now Okay, it will give some information on it. You can do that. But what this is going to do is it's going to make it so this port can be accessed through your uh, through your main URL. Okay, now 80 is the default port. Now, if you're running Apache, you're running a PHP uh, server. So the Apache is running on port 80 and the web files are hosting are running on Apache. Then you can obviously uh, type 80 and it won't index your entire like main page basically. But... Um, like your main like the main URL through the IP address, it won't like black it won't whitelist another port basically. But what you want to do is you want to type now if your application is running like for instance, let's say you're using Apache Tomcat and Apache Tomcat default is eighty eighty. Now let's say you're running Apache Tomcat and it's running on port eighty eighty. 
Now what you did is you basically created a firewall that basically redirects any traffic to from port 80 to port 8080. If you did something like that, you wanna you wanna whitelist port 8080, the main port the, the software is like the applications running on. That's what you need to do, okay? So for this, we're gonna type in 80 because we're running straight Apache. So we're going to do that and it's going to generate this. Now this is basically IP tables and IP sets to um to essentially fucking uh make us only cloudflare can access your website now if we paste this in and run this what's going to happen is we're not going to be able to access the website at all because um there's no cloud cloud is not running on this so uh yeah i'm pretty sure we won't be able to do it anyways so <laughs> okay let's refresh this and we shouldn't be able to access it now as you can see we can't access it now this is because it's only it's only letting cloudflare access it and we're not running on cloudflare because cloudflare uses uh, a CDN basically, so it, you, it has a certain IP address and has a list of them, and it uses a specific list that can update any time, and it also updates to the software. So you're gonna do this, anyways. Um, yeah, make sure you guys come to the site to download this and do what I did. Okay, I showed you guys how to do it. Just paste it in. Now, um, yeah, goodbye, guys. <laughs>